Hello everyone, this is Uncle Frank again. Today bringing you a tutorial on how to draw the most beloved and absent-minded fish in the history of cinema. Dora is such a beloved character that she got a movie of her own and I'm really looking forward to hearing some news about her in the next years. First we're gonna make a format for a fish, it's not gonna be a circle, it's not gonna be an oval, it's just a simple shape for a fish. I found a center for her face and after finding the center I, um, I just defined that the eyes are gonna be almost on top of her head. So I draw a curved line for the eye socket and I, I draw a line down to form the nose so I'm gonna make a simple smile other eye is just gonna be a circle and then we're gonna complement the smile with a slight movement of her cheek so I'm gonna start drawing the eyelids which are gonna be very subtle Following the shape I had drawn before, I'm gonna start defining her forms. I'm gonna strengthen the line for her back because I had done something very slight. Okay, so now you can see it. And if you think our videos can teach you something good, or if you just enjoy the processes, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Your participation is very important for us. So uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and activate the bell. It helps us keep our regularity and it helps us produce better videos. So let me just finish shaping the eyes with another circle inside, looking directly at us. So I'm gonna find the place for the first fin and it's gonna be here and I'm gonna draw something like a leaf. It's really gonna look like a leaf draw a couple of curved lines and uh, and they're gonna be crossed by some horizontal lines and here's the other fin waving at you some lines crossing the other one okay now let's take a look at her back that would be supposedly her hair. So we're just gonna draw a few curves. And let's work on the markings for her body. So she's gonna have this shape here on the side and then to complement her tail let's just follow the shape that we had done before with a few lines coming from the extremity and, and she's also gonna have this skin on her belly Now by looking at it, I see I didn't get quite satisfied with this line, so I'm gonna make it closer to the mouth. 
Okay, a bit more curved. And I'm gonna move her marking on the side a bit more to the front. Okay. I also saw that I could work a bit more on the shape. And I could just erase some of her belly. I think it was a bit too big. And I'm gonna make her a little thinner. I can't forget to draw her teeth. I have to draw her smile and I can't forget the lines from her tail. I think that's it for sketching. So it's time to get the marker and start working on the external lines. Follow me. this one I'm gonna go mix media I'm gonna use some markers for the colors that should be brighter and I'm gonna use colored pencils for the other areas because I think for large areas like Dory's face it would look weird if I use like uh, felt tip pens or a marker so let's go with colored pencils <laughs> Now just for the final touches, I'm gonna use a marker and I'm gonna work on the black areas. And that's it, Dory is ready. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I also hope you have learned something nice today. Stick around for more videos and follow the suggestions YouTube is gonna give you. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment, even if it's just to ask me how my day was. So I hope to have you guys around on our next artistic adventure. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.